Tetraponera rufo nigra, a famously venomous ant species. Have you ever had the honor of interacting with them? They're not exactly known for playing nice. In just 100 days, can they grow into a powerful kingdom? To truly understand this incredible journey, we have to rewind time back to a single, humble test tube. Everything starts from here. Welcome to Antric. Day 1, it was an order I had been eagerly waiting for, and I was all set to unbox it. Oh guys, it was a mountain of bubble wrap, and then, the main character made its grand entrance. The queen ants are kept in a small test tube sealed with a piece of damp cotton. Her body is mostly pitch black, with her legs and abdomen sometimes showing bright red streaks. In this test tube, there's only the queen and tiny larvae. The queen's main job right now is to eat and take care of them until they hatch into worker ants that will serve her. Day 5. I'm going to reward our main character with a super fat worm. Oh, super fast. Wow, such a fierce pushback. I give up, boss. Please have mercy on me. I'll escape whenever I can. Where'd he run off to? Go ahead. You're ending up in my belly anyway. In the first month, we'll witness the queen ant's tender care for her eggs and larvae. Ouch! Almost fell! The eggs of the asterisk Tetraponera rufo nigra asterisk species are about 0.5 to 1 millimeter long. Oval shaped and either milky white or slightly translucent. The larvae are about 1 to 1.5 millimeters in size and continue to grow to 3 to 4 millimeters before pupating. Day 28, the first worker ant has appeared. The Queen Tetraponera is much larger than the worker ants and has a pretty distinctive appearance. Come on, Mom, let's take care of the little ones together. Day 40, after 40 days, the first generation of worker ants has formed inside this test tube. Take care of the little ones. You have to be as hardworking as I am. Day 60, in that tiny test tube, a whole kingdom is thriving more and more. With the population rapidly growing, this test tube is becoming cramped. The queen eggs, larvae, and several worker ants are all packed into a tiny, stuffy corner. Now is the time we need to help the Tetraponera expand and their living and working space. Here's the new home I set up for my ants. Can you see that empty space in the back? Yeah, that was supposed to be their outworld, but I kind of forgot. So they're gonna crash here for a few days. Don't worry though, I'm on a mission to find them a fancier tank soon. We need a pathway so they can move to their new home. Whoa, sparkling clean! Hurry up, my friend! Let me grab the squad real quick! Hey, my dude! Come on, lend a hand! Oh, okay! Fingers crossed, my new room's not a shoebox! Chop Chop! Let's hustle! Alright! This is ant level exhaustion, bro! If y'all came out quicker, I wouldn't have to carry your lazy butt to save me the back end. D70, that little white tank just wasn't cutting it anymore for my ants. I had already prepared a spacious new home, ensuring they'd have plenty of room to stand, lie down, and sit comfortably. Dude, your tank design's kind of flawed. My ants can't figure out how to climb to the upper level. This place is so tiny, every time I move, my back hits the roof. I connected a little plastic tube. But what is that? This old tank was just chillin' in the corner, totally forgotten, but hey, still useful. Gave it a cleanup, and boom, back in action. Alright, the outworld is finally done, wonder if the ants are gonna like IT. If you were an ant, would you vibe with it? Whoa! Moving day again! Kiddos! Hurry up and move your stuff! The new place is huge! Alright! My little ones! Time to move house! 
Be gentle when placing them down. They're super delicate. Exhausted to the point even an ant would file for retirement. Each ant has to figure out the best route to track down food. It's like their own little treasure hunt. I gave them a few days to settle in and get comfy in their new home before throwing any big challenges their way. Priorities, right? Day 90 After three months, the population has grown remarkably, with the number of larvae increasing, showing steady development. This place is getting cramped, and it's becoming harder for them to move around. Wait, what's that? Is that Doraemon's Anywhere Door? Our ants quickly discovered this small path. That's their secret exit to the playground and addition. A special delivery from the sky to fat, juicy worms wiggling like they just realized they're on the menu. Without missing a beat, the ant scouts send the signal. The troops rush in. The tunnels echo with the pitter-patter of six tiny feet, multiplied by hundreds. Free food. Humans gave it to us. Come on. Let's call in more ants. These two worms will fill us up for a few days. Blue drop detected. Go before the fat squad third parties. Don't give up so soon. Looks like the ants gained the upper hand right from the start. The venom of Tetraponera can paralyze their target in an instant. And even the fattest, juiciest worm doesn't stand a chance. So would you dare let a Tetraponera lightly touch your hand? Watch it! You just trampled me, sis! Oh my god, the worm flipped over! Day 100 Day 100, a special milestone. My ant colony has grown to a size I never even dreamed of. Every chamber is now buzzing with tiny footsteps, crowded and full of life. They never stop working, some tending to the larvae, others digging tunnels, and a few hauling back food like little champions. Each ant has its own role, its own purpose. And together, they work like a perfectly tuned machine, smooth, efficient, unstoppable. Sometimes I just stand there watching, heart swelling with pride, like I've successfully raised a child with a thousand legs. And honestly, I really, truly love them. From a solitary queen, quietly creating her humble home in a tiny tube. Now, a new empire has risen, not from books, not from imagination, but a vibrant and kingdom right before our eyes. But this journey is far from over. If you want to continue watching, exploring, and joining these extraordinary creatures on their adventure, hit that subscribe button for Entrick today. Check out this video for more, and I see you in the next one.